Motion number four, the Treaty of Lisbon, seventh of the day. Jim, Mur Jim Murphy. Point of order, Mr. Ed Davis. Uh, I understand that the chair has not selected the amendment in the name of my honourable and right honourable friends. Uh, can, I ask, can I ask the chair to reconsider the decision? not to select the Liberal Democrat amendment for a referendum on Britain's membership of the European Union. That is the question that goes to the heart of the debate before the House. That is the debate that British people want to hear. We are being gagged, sir. I understand the Honourable point of order, but having made the point of order, he must not go on then to start debating the matter. The question of the selection of amendments is made by Mr Speaker and is not, ordered, and is not open for questioning in this House. The honourable members will have every opportunity to discuss these matters when we embark dur dur order during the course of the debate. <laughs> Further that, Bonham? On a point of order, I share the dismay of my honourable friend. What guidance can you give me that if not today, we will have the opportunity at some point during the remaining stages of this bill yeah, yeah, to debate yeah, the yeah, issue which many members want debated and many members of the public want debated on the future membership of, our Europe, of the European yeah, Union? Yeah. Order. I, order. I have uh, made the situation quite clear to honourable yeah. members. I am sorry if they don't accept it. Order. But no, 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 no. There can be no further, further to that point of order. We must now get on with the debate. Mr Jim Murphy. No, order. I've dealt with that point of order. 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 If it's a separate point of order, if it's a separate, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to take it. Simon Hughes. Separate point of order. Mr Deputy Speaker, I have raised procedural questions about this bill with the Speaker and other occupants of the chair. I have asked how we can be guided by officers of the House to get amendments that are selectable, generally, generally, on this bill, not just on this issue, on this bill. I have been told that we have to go to see the clerks. My colleagues have been to see the clerks. Many they times, have taken many advice times. from the clerks. Many times, they have submitted many amendments that the clerks have told them are in order. Please will you tell me, and those other colleagues who have asked points of order about this bill, what more we have to do to get a point of order accepted that allows an amendment to be debated in this House on an issue that a quarter of the British people represented here want to be debated and many people regularly tell us ought to be debated. What else do we have to do because we followed the rules you've given us? Yeah. All the honourable gentleman has just done is to confirm how carefully this matter has been studied by everybody concerned. And, and following that careful study, Mr Speaker has made his selection for amendments today, and that must be the end of it for today. We must now order, order, we are simply wasting time. I am not, pre I am not, I am not prepared to take any more points of order on the matter of the selection of amendments for today. Mr Jim Murphy. The point of order I wish to raise, Mr Deputy Speaker, relates to the scope of the bill, which is a point of order, if I may suggest. And it is this, that it is quite clear from the scope of this bill that this bill is made, making provision in connection with the Treaty of Lisbon amending the Treaty on European Union, etc. And in that context, would I simply say that this treaty has been described by the European Scrutiny Committee on which I sit as substantially equivalent to the original treaty. They've broken their or promises. The, right, the Honourable General is a very experienced member of this House and knows that we are not at this point in time discussing the bill. We're discussing the motion that is before the House, and I suggest we now start on it. Mr Jim. Point of order, Mr. Ed David. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I'm grateful for you granting this point of order. Um, this is an outrage to the House. Order. The outrage to the House is in danger of being the Honourable, Mayor's, Honourable Member's attitude to the Chair. Order. He's made his point. I've told him already how, how, how matters stand. 
There will be opportunities to discuss these matters. There will be. There will. There will. There will be opportunity to discuss these matters at a different time. If he persists, if he persists in, in arguing with the speaker's selection for amendments today, I shall be extremely annoyed. He's made his. He's made his point. Everybody's, everybody's understood the point he's made. It is firmly on the record. And now I must insist. I must insist that we get on with the debate. Mr. Mr. Jim Murphy. Order, 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 order. Order. I'm afraid I'm going to have to now warn the honourable member about his contact, conduct. Unless, unless he persists, stronger measures will have to be taken. He really now, having made his point, he's, having made his point, he really now is abusing, abusing his position. I, really, really. Debate this issue. It is the debate the British people want. It is unfair not order, to that, order. What the honourable member order. What the honourable member is failing to appreciate is that that is not something that I can deal with at this point in time. Order! Order! I'm not, I am not prepared. The honourable must understand this. I am not prepared to allow this matter to be pursued any further. I, as, I've, as I've said, as I, as I have said, he's made his point firmly this afternoon. It's on the record in the way he sought to make it. If he, if he wishes to pursue it after, after this afternoon in other ways, to explore other ways of doing things. But I cannot, I cannot do anything other than abide by the selection for this afternoon's business that Mr. Speaker has made in accordance with the rules of the House. And as I've already explained, it is not open to being questioned in the way that the Honourable Gentleman is seeking to pursue it. Mr. Jim Murphy. Mr. Deputy Speaker. Order, 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 order. I warn the Honourable Member that unless he obeys the authority of the Chair, I shall have no alternative but to order him to withdraw from the House. This means, this means that the Honourable Member will have to leave the precincts of the Palace of Westminster and that he will not be able to vote for the rest of the day. Mr. No, order, 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 order. I think I have made the position entirely clear to the Honourable Gentleman and I repeat to him he has had every opportunity to make the point he sought to make, and I think that we should now move on to the debate. Or, given our chance. Order. I have had enough. I have had enough. I would be grateful if the, if the Minister could get to his feet and start the debate. So, order. 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 In accordance with the power given to me by Standing Order No. 43, I order the Honourable Member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of this day's sitting. Or order, 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 order. I think that must be the end of it. Jim Murphy. Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I'm happy to introduce this, the seventh in a series of theme debates on the content of the Lisbon. Oh, 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 oh. Order. I suggest Mr. Jim Murphy gets on with the debate. Today we are debating the institutional reforms 
introduced by the Lisbon Treaty. These fall into two categories. Firstly, the reforms to the existing EU institutions. Oh, 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 order, 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 order. We are now going to continue with this afternoon's debate in, in the way that we should. And I'm not, I'm not, order, 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 order. Honourable gen gentlemen and ladies must understand the order of this House is every bit as important as the kind of matters they are seeking to raise. And if they are, it is, it is crucial, it is crucial to the good order of this House that they respect the occupant of this chair. And I really do think, I really do think the party in question has gone far enough today to make their point to wish to, where they wish to make. If they want, if they want to continue, there are other ways of doing it that do not, there are, there are, there, there are other, there are other ways of doing what they seek to do. And Ms. Jim, Mr. Jim Murphy. So, as I was saying,